Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Irfan CFPS. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below to learn more about designing of automatic sprinkler systems as per NFPA 13 standards. In today's class, we shall go through the friction loss calculation by considering two examples using Hazen Williams formula. This formula is used to calculate the head loss or pressure loss of water due to its flow through straight pipe. Friction loss coefficient is different for different types of pipes. Friction losses must be calculated properly in order to deliver the water at the proper flow rate and pressure to control the fire. Hydraulic calculations uses Hazen Williams formula for sprinkler systems except antifreeze as per NFPA 13. At the end of the video, I will share you the link for the friction loss calculator with which we can avoid manual calculation. Let's start with our first example. As you can see on your screen, we have a straight pipe of 50 feet length and the size of the pipe is 3 inch and the material of the pipe is carbon steel schedule 40. The starting point of the pipe, we can see 60 PSI pressure reading. Now we need to calculate the friction losses along the pipe and also the pressure gauge reading at the end of the pipe. Here in this example, apart from these details, they have given the flow of the pipe that is 200 gallons per minute and also they have given the C factor for carbon steel pipe as 120. Let us try to find out the friction losses along the pipe and also the pressure gauge reading at the end of the pipe. So here we have Hazen Williams formula and the formula is P equal to 4.52 into Q power 1.85 divided by C power 1.85 into D power 4.87. This is the standard formula used to calculate the friction losses. And here P represents frictional resistance which is in PSI or feet of the pipe and Q represents flow in gallons per minute. C is friction loss coefficient. D is actual internal diameter of the pipe. Actual internal diameter of the pipe can be found out from the manufacturing data sheet. This D will be in inches. So we have some of the data with us. So we just put the data here. Okay, so now just a minute. I'm just trying to make it clear. Here they gave Q okay so q will be 200 gpm already they have given and then here we mention c this is also they gave as 120 so we, we need to check the actual internal diameter of the pipe which will be d is that equal to as per the manufacturer data sheet you will get 3.068 inches for carbon steel schedule 45. This is the actual internal diameter. Now we have Q, C and D. By using this formula, we can calculate P. So P equal, we just mentioned 4.52 into 200 power 1.85 divided by 120 power 1.85 into 3.068 power 4.87. So we will get around 0 0.049 PSI per feet of pipe. So Friction loss per feet of pipe is 0.049 PSI. But 
as you can see the length of the pipe here is 50 feet so total length of the pipe is 50 feet so actual friction loss for the complete length of the pipe 50 feet will be 50 multiplied by 0 0.049 so that will be around 2.474 psi so now gauge pressure will be equal to initially we have 60 psi so just mention 60 minus the friction losses as per this formula we got for the 50 feet pipe is 2.474 so the total pressure gauge reading will be around 57.526 psi so here the pressure reading will be 57.526 psi okay now let us have a look at our second example in which we have one elbow as well along with the straight pipe so this time we shall calculate the pressure reading after the elbow as per nfpa 13 table 27.2.3.1.1 we have an equivalent schedule 40 steel pipe length chart from here we can calculate the equivalent feet of pipe for the fittings in our case in our previous slide we said that we have one elbow that will be 90 degree standard elbow if we have this fitting the equivalent length will be for 3 inch pipe is 7 feet okay this chart is used for the shuttle 40 steel pipe in case if we have any other pipes like concrete pipes as toss cement or plastic pipes hdpe pipe then we need to consider this c value and we need to multiply this equivalent of pipe with this multiplication factor here you can see the multiplication factor in table 27.2.3.1 so let us try to calculate the friction losses and also the pressure gauge reading after the elbow here again we will use the same hazen williams formula we already have p from our previous example anyhow just for your information i will mention once again like uh, we will put q which was already given so q is 200 gpm and c is 120 d is 3.068 inch and then we have here one additional thing which is equivalent length of the pipe as per this table we have seven feet but now what we shall do is we will initially calculate the p by using this q c and d so our p will be 0.049 psi per feet of pipe now since we have the equivalent of the pipe for the fitting is as 7 feet so total length will be 50 feet plus 7 feet that will be about 57 feet so now total length of the pipe will be 57 feet so we need to calculate the pressure gauge reading before that we have to calculate the friction loss for the 57 feet of the pipe so 57 feet multiply by per feet of the pipe we have 0 0.049 psi so this will be about 2. 
793 psi now let's minus the friction loss for 57 feet of the pipe which is 2.793 from the 60 psi here you can see so 60 minus 2.793 which will be about 57.207 psi so in this way we need to calculate the friction losses as well as the pressure gauge reading at the other end of the pipe in this slide let's have a look at mere 5 friction loss calculator this calculator is based on hazen williams formula and this one is available online and you can use this from the link which i mentioned here in this slide so just you go to this link and enter the data which we have if we have any fittings also you can just type like this elbow standard 90 degree and how many fittings are there just mentioned you will get the results here you can see for 3 inch the friction losses will be 2.8 psi okay so i hope you understand the, the concept of friction loss calculation by using hazen williams formula in next classes we shall go through various types of sprinklers such as cmda sprinklers till that time have a good day bye so in next class we shall go through cmda sprinklers till that time have a good day. Bye.